Sergeant is my name. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Kindly don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Now, today we are going to discuss about uh, basic vehicle mechanics or other vehicle maintenance skills. In partnership with Imoto Auto Association or Imoto Driving School, we are going to go through the basic mechanics and after that I'm sure that you are going to enjoy and learn a lot. Now, anytime when you wake up in the morning, we discussed about what you are supposed to do, the approach that you are, going to, you are supposed to have before you start your vehicle. We talked about uh, going around the vehicle, checking the body, checking uh, the rights, checking the tires and everything. After you are done with external inspection, now we check internal inspection. Internal inspection, unafasa kuja ufugue bonnet na unafuguri hapa, alafu na inua bonnet juu. Do that. Yeah. After umefugua bonnet, unaweka hii stud. Unaweka stud hapo, do bonnet ikuwe stable. Other is, una, na una make sure that you may mount vizuri, suweka hapa katikati ya maapa, uweka kwa hizi mashimo, so that is ya guke kipoge. Now, uh, internal inspection of the, of the vehicle consists of three things. Number one, there is the lubricating part of the vehicle, there is the mechanical part of the vehicle, and there is the cooling system. We start the cooling system. Cooling system, we are going to measure with the radiator. This is what we call the radiator. Hapa do mtu wa naweka, tutumie luga ya yenye inatumika mtaani, hapa do huwa unaogeza maji ya gari. We are going to come to discuss more about that. Now, for you to know the level of the liquid that is here, unafaa kufugwe kifuniko. And when you are opening, unafaa kufinya chini hivi, and then you rotate. That way, unafugua. When you are crossing, unafinya chini hivi, alafu unafuga. Let us try. Now, this is what you call the radiator. Na radiator, hapa huwa tuna top of maji. Our African systems, zina tukubali tu top of maji. Lakini unajua kitu moja, maji huwa ina support kitu inaitwa corrosion. Maji ina support rusting. So, mechanically, you are not supposed to add water kwa radiator. You are supposed to add coolant. A coolant is a greenish substance yenye unaweda kwa petrol station, gas station unanunua, unakuja unaogeza hapa. So unawezaje jua kama gari yako inahitaji kuogezwa coolant or not? Unakuja unafugua hapa and then you check whether you can be able to see that liquid or not. Kama hii sasa unaona tumeweka coolant. Now, coolant, the advantages of putting a coolant is that coolant does not evaporate. Coolant does not corrode the engine. Coolant does not change form. Na that, sababu hii gari ikitengenezwa ikiletwa hapa imetoka pari kama Japan. In Japan you expect kuna winter na kuna snow. In case waweke maji, alafu wakati wa snow ifike, snow ita condense. So iki condense, it will not be efficient to use the vehicle. So, any given time when you unaidesha gari, any given time that you want to drive your vehicle, kitu ya kwanza kwa gari ya dani ya hijin, ni kwa gari ya kama radiator yako, ikona, ikona maji, ama ikona coolant. You can mix coolant and water, sababu unaweza ka coolant, gari wede safari, ya rafu ifike pari katikati ya barabara upate, inachemuka. Mm. Okay, upate ama, ama coolant imeisha. Ukipata coolant imeisha, you can add water. But it is recommended that you always use coolant. Now, kuna hiki funiko ya radiator. Hiki funiko ya radiator kia garia, unaona hiko na tumashimo hapa. Hiko na tumashimo hapa, na hiko na spring. Now, this spring, do inasaidia wakati eh, hewa ina, inakuja inachemuka hapa, ina turn into vapor, vapor ikifinya hapa, it is able to evaporate. So at any given time, wakati wenye unatafuta una kifuniko ya, ya radiator sababu kifuniko na heza apotea, you are supposed to make sure that you buy the actual lead. Sababu na heza dunua kifuniko kubwa ama kifuniko dogo. Na ukinunu make sure that this spring inafanya kazi na isikue na uchafu huku. Hii gari tukekua tunaeka maji, hii kifuniko saa higi kwa ime rust. But now because you do not add water, you do not use water as cooling system, that is ono na hii kifuniko, a eh, rust. Now, there are several factors that you can use to use the water to use the water. Number one, ni kama hii kifuniko yako, ime crack. In case kifuniko ime crack, itakua ina, ina pass some, some, some pressure. In a, maji ina evaporate through here. So, in the case of the radiator, there is no other leakage, which is number two of one of the reasons why inafanya 
dijitaka kuisha maji haraka sana mm. kitu kwanza tumesema ni kifuniko kama iko na cracks mm. kifuniko kama sio the correct size ama redita kama iko na leakage kama redita haiko na leakage una agaria kau ukiona redita haina leakage wagari wana kifuniko yako iko sawa it is the recommended one haina cracks iko sawa iko tight mm. the springs are working then the other thing that you supposed to check are the filaments kwa gari huko unaona tu vitu tumeda huko katikati these are what you call the filaments in case the filaments broke the redditor will not be able to operate well na hiyo inamaanisha maji itakuwa ki evaporate more than it is supposed to be so if you notice anything abnormal in the redditor to agree that you are supposed to check the readings number one, check the redditor did number two, check the filaments number three, check whether the redditor is leaking or not and that is how you use the radiator now kifuniko hii the reason why iko na spring ukifinya hivi unaona kuna iko na spring so that when the pressure becomes excess ukifinya hapa excess pressure inatokea hapa ikitokea hapa inaenda na kuja inaingia hapa kwa hiyo kibuiko hapa hii unaona hapa kumeadikwa coolant iko hapa inakuwa cool down hapa imekuwa cool down inarudi back inarudi back iko in form of in form of uh, in form of uh, vapor now ilikuwa imetoka ilikuwa vapor inarudi in form of maji kirudi ilikuwa maji inaingia hapa na inakuwa recycled so kama hapa boiling point ilikuwa 100 degrees na kuna drop ilikuwa hapa ikiwa vapor ikarudi ikiwa maji the boiling point sasa itakuja 99 degrees and that is what we need for the cooling effect hii kifuniko tulisema iko na springs hii spring ikisukuma juu tuliona kuna tushimo tuko hapo kwa hii kifuniko inakuja inatokea hapa excess steam inakuja inafika ikifika hapa inapata maji E, kula tenye kwa hapa maji iko hapa ni baridi inakuja ina condense inarudi back ikirudi back kama hapa ilikuwa 100 degrees na routine that is what you call the cooling system of the vehicle na iko na full na iko na low haufai kupitisha kwa sababu kipitisha hapa hii vapor ikuja hapa ipate hapa haiwezi haiwezi toka unaona so, kaka pipe ipate imeja mpaka juu haitaweza kutoka na ikiko kama haitatoka that means that the cooling system will not take place tank yenye unaweka coolant iko na maximum and minimum i don't know whether you can be able to zoom here iko na full and low so always make sure that liquid yenye unaweka it is not above full sababu so, kuweka above full ikiwa hapa then ukiweka above full haiwezi make kutoa hiyo gas ikitoka hapa haiwezi make condense mm. na domana unapata gari pia ina overheat that is one of the reasons yenye zafanya gari overheat ni kujaza maji ama kujaza coolant kwa hii disavia tank so you are not supposed to do that alafu hii kifuniko tumekubalia na ukifunua unafinya hapa una rotate mm. to the left inafuna unafugua una ukifuga unafinya hapa una rotate to the right that way now the other thing that you are supposed to check now you are done with the, the, the cooling system now we can discuss about the oil oil there are several types of oil because there are several types of engines kuna engine ya diesel na kuna engine ya petrol among other engines there are kuna tunatumia gas other electricity but specifically what you have here is an engine that uses petrol ile nyuna ka kwa petrol inakoga goldish in color na hiyo ndo nakuja tunaongeza kwa a petrol engine now anytime that you want to know kama gari yako iko na oil kuna hii kitu unaona iko hapa this is what you call the drift unafaa kuvuta juu and then paguze The, the dipstick has two markings iko na minimum mm -hmm. and maximum hapa imeandikwa f for full mm -hmm. l for low i don't know how you can do it so the dipstick has two markings kuna minimum mm -hmm. and maximum now in case uweke utoi dipstick uone gari oil yako iko hapa kwa low mm -hmm. ama kwa minimum you are not supposed to drive your vehicle ukiona iko hapa kwa full ama kwa maximum mm -hmm. it's good and good to go Now the other mistake you're not supposed to do ukitoa dipstick hivi usiinamisha hivi sababu kinaikinamisha the oil drip backwards ah, okay. so instead of that unafaa kutoa urudisha Cha rudisha utoe na usiinamisha you check mm. kama imeinama hivyo so na oil iko hapa mm. ikumaanisha that the, the the oil is okay so oil inatumika kama lubricant oil pia inatumika kama coolant na pia oil inatumika kusafisha engine the question is unajua gaje nita ile kibiko pale nyuma unajua gaje ile wakati wenye unafaa kubadilisha oil that is one of the questions yenye inasubwaga watu wengi sana unajua gaje ile wakati wenye unafaa kubadilisha oil there are several situations there are several instances zenye zinaweza kuambia ni wakati gani unafaa kubadilisha oil kitu ya kwanza 
hiyo oil wakati umetoa hivi touch that oil na vidole zako bili ikiona hii oil imekuwa black sasa hizo unaona iko golden uone imekuwa black using your eyes that means that you need to top up or change your oil number two, ukiangalia hii oil ukishika hivi usikii iko na some particles ujue your oil is due na unafaa kuchange oil but kama ikuwa clean hivi na iko at the recommended uh, measurements mm. then it is okay now the other reason yenye inaweza fanya uchange oil ni the number of kilometers if you look at this uh, kibuyu imeadikwa 5000 sn these are the actual number of kilometers zenye na utakuwa unachange oil after for example today when you take a vehicle for service gari ilikuwa at zero mileage ukaenda ukaekoa oil ya 5000 kilometers after na, na that is these the kilometers zenye meka ni kuwa naandika pale anaandika that your, your vehicle will come for service after the next 5000 kilometers in case me adikwa 10000 in case me adikwa 13000 in case me adikwa 7000 these are the determinants the number of kilometers that determines the time that you're going to take your vehicle for service now after that after understanding the times that you are supposed to change oil sasa tujiulize oil wewe inaweka wapi oil wewe weka hapa kwa dipstick this is what you call the dipstick this one is what you call the dipstick na kazi yake ni kumisha the oil lakini wewe ziogeza oil hapa oil unaogeza hapa kwa 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 block engine kwa cylinder head unakuja unafugua hapa ukishafugua so that is where you add oil that is where you add oil how is your gas oil up so in case one oil yako imeisha in case ipeleka gari service that is why you are supposed to add oil so tumejua kwa nyuma nafaa ku add oil tumejua vile unafaa kupima oil na tumejua the factors that usually contribute to you as a driver changing your oil now this one is called power steering fluid na gari za kitabu ulikuwa unaona watu wakiadesha gari unapata kama ni Bedford unapata the guy is using a lot of energy huko unaona driver ako na kitabu kama hiyo kuwa anapata anatumia nguvu physical why because gari za kitabu hazikuwa na power steering fluid now currently they have the power steering fluid and they are also connecting with the electric part of it now wakati unasikia steering yako inakuwa ngumu unaadesha gari unasikia steering yako inakuwa ngumu ukijaribu kupiga kona hivi unasikia unangangana na steering it you are losing more force you are supposed to come and check whether your vehicle has the power steering fluid unaenda kwa nearest dealer unanunua eh, power steering fluid na inatagwa ATF automatic transmission fluid iko na minimum and maximum so always ensure that it is above minimum but not above maximum that is what you call ATF The next one here ni brake fluid. A brake fluid ndio inasaidiaga gari ukiendesha gari wakati unataka kusimama. You know uh, we are promoting road safety. Mm-hmm. Now you cannot promote road safety. You cannot be safe as a driver kama gari yako haina brakes. So in a given time yenye kabro udesha gari you always are supposed to ensure that gari yako iko na brake fluid. Na hapo ndio watu tunaogeza brake fluid can check and see you have the minimum and the maximum brake fluid iko na two markings iko na marking hapa imeadikwa low and full sasa inafaa kufika hapa au fai kujaza brake fluid mpaka ija huko juu we are supposed to put to the maximum level now ukishaogeza brake fluid this is what you call the master cylinder na hapa ndo hii yenye unaogeza brick fluid inaitwa master cylinder ukiweka kwa master cylinder brick fluid inateremka inaenda kwa compressor compressor ndo huwa inadistribute uh, brick fluid in the vehicle ina distribute kwa tires sasa hii is what you call the master cylinder ukitoka kwa master cylinder inaenda kwa compressor compressor ina distribute brick fluid no in case upate brick fluid yako inaisha haraka than mm. expected ufuate hizi pipes wagalie kama kuna pari kuna leakage these are the pipes that i'm talking about wagalie kama kuna pari kuna leakage in case upata hakuna leakage kwa kwa pipes then ujue gari yako imemaliza brake pads na brake pads unakuja na gari hapa kwa mguu these are the brake pads in case kama gari kama hii unaendesha alafu unapata huku iko na iko na kitu inakaa chako kiguza hivi unapata iko na kitu inakaa chako unajua gari yako you need to adjust your brake pads so brake pads zikiisha ukose kubadilisha it will facilitate 
mafuta unapati na mwagika haraka sana because gari inatendi kutumia mafuta as compared to brake pads now we go to the electric system battery ya gari doi hii ni kama transformer ya gari na hapa do it is what generates electricity or power in the vehicle there are two type of batteries kuna low maintenance and high maintenance battery low maintenance and high maintenance battery in this case what you having here is a low maintenance battery a high maintenance battery ni ile battery inakuaga na tufuniko hapa moja bili tatu the high maintenance battery inaitwa high maintenance because ukiangalia iko na pari kumeadiko a low and high na any given time kama hiyo do ile battery unatumia unafaa kila siku unakuja unaangalia au maybe after week also unakuja unaangalia kama iko kwa low na iko kwa high ukiona iko kwa low you top up ionize water you're not supposed to top up acid acid na ikagwa battery kile genezo iko mpya but as long as battery usha isha isha kuwa recharged from there utakuwa unaongeza ionize water there are two types of batteries tumesema ni high maintenance and low maintenance gari dogo inatumia battery ya 14 volts at sorry 12 volts na gari kubwa inatumia battery ya 24 volts so kama ni gari dogo utakuwa unatumia battery ya 12 volts this battery that is low maintenance kuna ka shimo unaona kako hapa na kuna several colors that are supposed to be here sasa hii iko green hii kala green na maanisha that the battery is fully charged that the battery is good to go ukiona battery yako hapa imewaka red ujue inakwambia that battery is low you are supposed to charge your battery na ukiona battery yako imewaka ime iko na color white ujue that but that battery is no longer in use imekufa Now this is what you call the alternator. This is what you call the alternator. Mm. Alternator kazi yake ni gani? Wakati unaendesha gari sometimes unaweza park gari pale kama hapa ufugulie radio. Ukishafugulia radio ukikuja kurumisha gari gari ikataa kuruma. Imekataa kuruma kwa nini? Sababu the battery is not recharging. Umetumia ile motor ilikuwa ta battery mm. na ukamaliza yote. So that is where the alternator comes in. Wakati gari inaguruma alternator ndo inasaidia ku recharge battery and the excess energy from the alternator do inatumika inatumika kwa wipers kwa mirago kwa radio and all that mm. so a vehicle cannot operate without an alternator and without a battery why because the battery do ina supply electricity alternator do ina saidia battery ku refill electricity ikishatumika na gari now there is also something that you call a timing belt lakini hii kwa hii gari iko huko ndani timing belt kazi yake ni gari timing belt do ina zugusha alternator inazugusha tanki ya maji na inazugusha tanki ya mafuta so that means in case gari yako imekataa ku start kidogo kwanza ni unafaa kwa gari ni battery kama battery iko fully charged kama battery iko fully charged another problem inaweza kuwa imetoka kwa alternator kama haijatoka kwa alternator inaweza kuwa imetoka kwa timing belt na kama haijatoka kwa timing belt inaweza toka kwa kwa fuse box we are going to check that that one is what we call the fuse box fuse box ina act kama circuit breaker na kwa gari don't have the screws this is what you call the fuse box na kwa gari kuna kuna electricity circuit kuna connections wakati unaenda pale kwa gari unafugua mlango unapata hivuguki ajaribu kufuga side mirrors hazifanyi kazi ajaribu ku move wipers hazifanyi kazi battery yako iko sawa kila kitu iko sawa kwa gari unafaa kukuja kwa gari kwa fuse box kwa fuse box kuna kwaga na blueprint In case unataka kujua kwa nini murago haifanyi kazi una, una battery iko sawa ukuje fugue fuse box utapata kuna map work inakuonyesha eh hii fuse ndo inatumika ku supply electricity kwa murago hii fuse ndo inatumika ku supply electricity kwa side mirrors hii fuse ndo inatumika ku supply electricity kwa wiper so in case upate ni murago ifanyi unakuja unafugua hapa unasoma map unaangalia kenye kanaenda kwa kwa murago unatoa hiyo fuse it's about 100 shillings unaenda unaonua ingine unakuja unarudisha ukirudisha gari yako inafanya kazi so that is the importance of the fuse box this the pay inaitwa ni kama sasa circuit breaker ni kama tu cut out if it's not functional gari yako most of the things will not work dashboard haitawaka kitu kwanza kwa gari kama battery iko sawa check the fuse box hapa we have the air cleaner this is what we call the air cleaner na air cleaner inasaidia ku save dust particles kabla zigie kwa kwa baston chamber na for example ukiangalia hapa unaona hapa iko na uchafu you see huko iko na uchafu kuliko this other side 
na so what are you supposed to do unafaa kwenda kwa gas station utafute pipe ya kuweka pressure ukuje ukulize the ya clean from this side do you make kama utafanya hivyo uogeshe chini hivi samu ya clean ukisha toa uchafu kwa ya cleaner then your vehicle will sound good so what are the consequences of your vehicle having an air cleaner that is not clean kuna cause una increase consumption of the vehicle na pata inakunywa mafuta mingi than usual because it is struggling number 2 unapata gari kona hard start naweza kuwa imeletwa na air cleaner and number 3 unapata gari yako ikiguruma ukijaribu kurumisha na guruma ni kama inangorota hiyo ni kumaanisha that ya clean yako iko na uchafu so at any given time tuseme umetoka hapa umeenda pahali ambapo kuna vubi it is recommended hata kama kilomita sazijafika you come and change your air cleaner in case you may drive at a very dusty road kitu kingine yenye ufai kusahau ni kifuniko iko hapa naona imeweka kwa positive terminal so at any given time unafaa kuwekera kifuniko hapa kabla ufuge bonus sababu gani na that's why pia iko na hii sababu gani sababu usipowekera kifuniko alafu hii terminal iguze body gari inaweza chomeka so at any given time always make sure that ama i, i, short, i short circuit i, i short charge always make sure that your vehicle umeka hii kifuniko penye inafaa so those that is what you call the basic mechanical part of the vehicle when it comes to internal inspection tumesema unafaa kwa gari ya coolant unafaa kwa gari ya disavea coolant unafaa kwa gari ya automatic transmission fluid unafaa kwa gari ya brake fluid na ama clutch fluid kwa zile gari manyo unapata kuna ingine iko na independent brake fluid clutch fluid na kuna ingine iko combined brake na clutch fluid to unafaa kwa gari ya oil to kwa gari ya oil you check your ya cleaner after me gari ya cleaner make sure that your battery is in good condition after ensuring your battery is in good condition make sure that your alternator is in good condition make sure that your timing belt is in good condition timing belt ukiagalia upate ime crack unafaa kucheck kuna zile gari timing belt inakuwa ganje uangalie upate iko na expiry date you are supposed to check the expiry date of that timing belt you are also supposed to check kama iko in good condition upate kama ime crack alafu unaweza ishika hivi ukipress hivi uone ina move more than quarter an inch or higher than quarter an inch either up or down ujue your timing belt needs to be adjusted if you don't adjust pump ya oil haitafanya pump ya mafuta haitafanya alternator haitafanya eh umemaliza gari kabisa because timing belt ni kama do engine ya gari it is the nervous system of the vehicle yes so that is what you call the basic mechanic internal inspection of the vehicle you remember that your vehicle will never give you problems when you're driving thank you sergeant was my name thank you for attending the lesson and we hope that you learned In case of any queries don't hesitate to call the number that is on the screen at Imoto Auto Association Imoto Driving School we are always ready to assist you thank you